Okay, I wasn't going to do a video tonight. Apparently my wife just told me, okay. But I am doing one tonight. Somebody left a uh, message in the comments saying, uh, can I show them how to install World of Tanks? Well, it is really easy, actually, and there's several ways of doing it, but I'm just going to mince it down to just several ways, just one or two, because otherwise it just gets too confusing. You can go to the websites of lots and lots of uh, people, and they'll give you instructions, and they won't work. Okay. Easiest way for me, and I've never had a problem. Oh, I'll tell you a lie. About four years ago, five years ago, I had a problem, and it was a bit of a pain, but it could still work. Okay. But Play on Linux is the way to go. If you want to do it on Linux, download the latest version. So if you're running an Ubuntu-based or Debian-based distro, you want 4.2.12, okay? And it's a all different distributions, okay? Arch, Debian, Fedora, Frugalware, Ubuntu, or all, okay? So you can actually compile it that way. So if I just go to, say, an Ubuntu-based distro for the moment, just showing you how it's done, okay? You can actually just download a dev file if you wanted to, or you can enable a PPA. It's entirely up to you. And what you'll find, the installation goes really, really super fine. Yeah, really easy. So I'll go to World Tanks here. You don't actually have to download the installer from World of Tanks. It's actually all already in uh, Play on Linux. Well, it's an older one, and it'll take a bit longer to do. My install today took around about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. But remember, I have got a high-speed connection here, so it's a bit different from me. If you've got a slow speed connection, it could take a little while. Give yourself a good hour. But for me, it didn't take long at all. Okay. World of Warships, you can also install. Right. World of Warships can be a bit difficult to install sometimes. Okay. It can be. All depending on your hardware. Yeah. 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 There's that word again. Hardware. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Generally, it's fine. And it's a really fun game to play. Another one is Star Trek Online. It does work a lot better in Play on Linux now with the new version and if you've got newer hardware. So if you're running a Ubuntu based distro or distro even, you really, really need to be 1604 minimum. Minimum. The 1404 just won't cut it with you really. Or you could go and get a script. Okay. There are several places online where you can get a script to install these without having to do that. And everything is there for you. You may have to get Wine. Okay. The latest version of Wine. But it will work a lot better for you in your situation. I'm not going to do it for you tonight, basically. If you want to know how to do it and see somebody do it, go to Steve's channel, which is English Bob. He's done several of them, right? I'm not going to go through with you. And bear in mind, it's a Russian site. Apparently, there's no problem. Okay, And I've done it several times on my machine. I've had no problem, okay? There's no malware or nothing installed. It just does the business, it works, and the game works fantastic, okay? Super the duper. So I'll get rid of them things here and I'll just show you a bit of mine here. If I go down here <clears throat> and go down to games and Plowlinux is there. I've not got, actually got around to installing World of Warships on this distri distribution at the moment. But there. There's my World of Tanks installation. If I go to configure, that's it. All I've done is give it a latest version of Wine, which is 217, and it does run really, really fast. Okay. Under miscellaneous, you don't need to do anything under display. All I've done is put in my video size memory. That's it. Because that's as far as it goes. You can't, that's going to need a higher look. Don't go higher. So, yeah, fair enough. So, if you are having a trouble installing World of Tanks or any of them games I just said to you, give Play on Linux a go first. If not, go and give a script a go and watch a couple of Steve's videos and he'll show you how to do it, okay? I can't be buggered to do it, to be honest with you. No, I've got more things to do at the moment. I've got lots and lots of things to do. And I've got Sabian on here at the moment that I'm playing with while we're talking. Okay, it's doing stuff. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye-bye.